Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty and joining us out of the box, out of the blocks this morning in the seven o'clock hour is Bozier Webster District Attorney, Mr. Skylar Marvin. Skylar, thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Hate these kind of days, Skylar, but uh, chatted with you briefly yesterday. Uh, you and Charles Scott, obviously a, a working relationship. You were in Baton Rouge for the, the meeting that you, you guys were attending. Tell us how your morning started, how you came, came to find out this horrible news. Uh, it was a, definitely a, a dark day. We um, had a breakfast and a meeting at the Capitol, and it was on my way uh, walking there that I received a phone call, and um, it just was kind of hard to function at that. So he's a very, very good friend of mine. Okay. Everybody wants those those Scotty or Judge Scott stories. I know you've got them. Can, can you give us a, a, a favorite memory? Well, when I first started practicing law, I showed up in his courtroom in a, in a civil case, and my father and I looked alike, and so he looked back there, and I, he recognized me because we didn't know each other, and pointed at me with his finger and said, come up here, and I was young and really intimidated in court, and uh, he uh, held out his hand from the bench and introduced himself. And I mean, we we became friends then, and so I obviously got elected a little bit before him. And he and I talk not all not daily, but almost daily, a couple three times a week about you know things, and there were usually problems. And what do you think we ought to do about this? And we served on various committees together with the DA's association, and I can tell you he fit right in when he decided to run for DA and got elected. Um, he assumed a leadership role in the DA Association and became president in the shortest time that I know of, of any other DA in the state. Uh, I, I would venture to say I'm pretty, I think I'm accurate about that. But he just, when he was in the room, you knew it, and he um, was kind of a, was very much a, a half full guy he ever the glass was always half full with him it was never half empty and whatever with financial problems and things that are going on in the state now that plague all of us in government he was one of those guys that could always say hey hold on a minute fellows let's let's talk this out we can find a way out of this so he was a truly truly good good friend of mine i will miss him dearly you had mentioned a couple of seconds ago the story how you were a young lawyer in judge scott's courtroom would you regard him as a mentor of yours but not only a mentor to you but to other lawyers along the way through the years oh absolutely i mean i they, i don't i don't remember another other judge even though we have a great bench here and a lot of great judges are my, judges are my great friends but he i'll never forget that day I, I don't remember the case i was over there on but i just remember him reaching out to me and i'm certain i'm not the only one he did that before Will he be remembered in the legal community as a tough judge? Yeah, he he definitely will would be. He um, he didn't mess around in his courtroom. I, I could tell you other instances where lawyers would in cases that I was kind of on the involved in on the edge, not directly as a litigant, but um, I saw him chastise lawyers and say, "This is not how we practice law here, guys." And I, I remember one in particular was to South Louisiana lawyers on, a, on an environmental type case, and and he he got on them pretty good. And it was he said we don't do that here, and and we came back for the afternoon session, and they didn't do that anymore. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> behave that way anymore. So, yeah, he 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 was a tough judge, fair judge. Mr. Scott, let's go down. Look a couple of years ahead, and let's say you meet somebody, some young lawyer or lawyer uh, new to you, who didn't know, who didn't know. Charles Scott, but he's heard about him, and he's heard that you knew and were friends with Charles Scott. What would you tell him about him? How would you sum up him as a man to someone who did not know him? I would characterize him as a leader and a great family man. Alexis and and my wife uh, bonded immediately after he got elected, and and he cared deeply for his family and and wife, and um, that's that was important. He, he had his eye on the ball. He, he knew what was important in life, and and he knew, you know, what he, he made good decisions. He made 
uh, thoughtful decisions. So he, he knew what was important. He was a great leader, great friend. Have you heard any? This, we got to wrap things up. But have you heard anything about the cause of death yet? I mean, I know you're you're kind of in the inside circle. No, I have not. Uh, we were together uh, the night before last. We were we had a function for the legislature on the grounds of the Capitol, and and we where all the DAs have uh, or not all, but most all cook or bring some type of uh, food, and uh, so I was with him, and I. I joked around with him. I was telling him to get out of that. He had a coat and tie on, and I was in blue jeans. And I said, get out of that coat and tie. Go put a short sleeve shirt on. He said, I don't have one. So I'm, he took his tie off and rolled his sleeves up and asked me, he said, are you happy now? And I said, yeah, I'm a little happier. So we joked around until about uh, about 9, 8.30 or 9, and he was at a different hotel than me and my staff were staying. So when they went their way, we went ours, and that was the last I saw it. Mm. Well, we th- certainly appreciate your time this morning on what is a tough, tough day uh, for, for folks in the legal community. And our condolences to you and all of his friends in the legal community, of course. I appreciate it very much, Aaron. Y'all y'all doing a great job, but thank you for, for sharing this with the community because he he will be missed. It's, it's a, a big void, so Absolutely. I appreciate it. Skylar Marvin, Bozier Webster DA, thank you for your time. We appreciate it.